चैप्टर फोर मैंगोज राउंड द एयर मैंगोज राउंड द एयर मीन्स दैट वी कैन एंजॉय मैंगोज नॉट ओनली इन अ पर्टिकुलर सीजन बट थ्रू आउट द ईयर इन वन और द एनदर फॉर्म द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस चैप्टर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ फूड स्पॉलिश टू फाइंड आउट द रीजन्स बिहाइंड द फूड स्पॉलिश एंड अंडरस्टैंड about food preservation techniques in the part 1 of this chapter we are going to learn how to identify the characteristics of spoiled food we'll find out reasons for food spoilage we'll learn simple methods of storing dry food and green vegetables we'll learn and understand the term microorganisms how can we identify spoiled food this is the first page of the chapter mangoes round the ear just observe the this picture three children neetu aman and preeti they are showing their tiffin boxes to each other and discussing about the food that they have brought to school now in the second picture you can see the face expressions of all the children have changed and here aman says oh neetu i think your potato sabzi has spoiled preeti says don't eat that you may fall sick here take some bhindi now the question is how did aman know that the potato sabzi had got spoiled now see here the face of aman the expressions of, on aman's face even without eating he has found that the food has got spoiled so how can we identify spoiled food we can identify spoiled food by its appearance by its smell and by its taste when any food item smells bad looks different tastes different then it is not fit for eating now the second one is have you ever seen some food that has got spoiled how did you know that it was spoiled so children at your house also you must have seen some spoiled food how did you find it just by looking at it or by its smell or by eating it so just try to find it out and write the answer the third one is preeti told neetu not to eat the potato sabzi what would have happened if she had eaten it so the answer of this question you can find in this part of the picture try to find it out if we eat spoiled food we may fall sick children we should not eat spoiled food sometimes eating spoiled food also causes food poisoning now let us observe here you can see the picture of fresh fruits vegetables and food items and now again observe these are the pictures of spoiled food now without eating just by looking at it you can see the change in the color change in the appearance of fruits vegetables and food item look in this video and try to identify the seasonal vegetables some are leafy vegetables and some are other green vegetables this one is spinach yes right these are very common in summer yes takri these are torai a very common green leafy vegetable that is called as soya 
then bitter gourd or karela chilies fresh ginger cucumber or khira potatoes you can see some onions also there then these are fresh tomatoes so children all these green vegetables or seasonal vegetables they contain water if we do not store them properly the water from these vegetables that will evaporate due to heat vegetables like onion garlic ginger and potatoes should be stored in open dry places these are the pieces of jackfruit so i think all of you can identify these vegetables these are very common summer vegetables children let us understand the simple method of keeping the green leafy vegetables fresh for a longer time take a piece of cotton cloth sprinkle water to make it damp spread the cloth place green fresh coriander in it wrap it properly then keep it in refrigerator as it is in this way it will remain fresh for a week same is with the spinach not only green leafy vegetables other vegetables can also be wrapped in damp cloth and can be kept in refrigerator to remain fresh for a week see the difference between fresh and dried food items see the color shape the fresh one and the dried one the fresh tomatoes the outer skin of this tomato has become somewhat wrinkled now why it is so this is the fresh green unripe mango and this one is the dried one the outer skin becomes uneven because water from these food has evaporated due to heat this one is the fresh coriander and this coriander this green leafy coriander was not stored properly so it is very necessary to store food items properly otherwise it will be spoiled or dried let us find out look in your kitchen and write down names of food items that can get spoiled in 2 to 3 days can be kept for a week would not spoil till one month so children go in your kitchen identify the food items that get spoiled in 2 to 3 days which may be some green leafy vegetables some fruits or cooked food can be kept for a week some kind of dry things or some kind of vegetables which you can keep for a week also would not spoil till one month so find all these things from your kitchen and make a list and after making the list you compare your list with your friends list will your list be the same in all seasons what would change so what do you think 
the name of the food items which you have kept in your list will be same for all the seasons that is for summers rainy season and winter season what do you think food items spoil easily in summers and rainy seasons but not in winter season when food gets spoiled in your house what do you do with it so what do you do with the spoiled food do you store it do you eat it or give it to other person to eat or you throw it obviously you throw the spoiled food because if we eat spoiled food we may fall sick microorganism let us understand this term micro and organisms micro means very small or tiny organisms mean living things so microorganisms are those tiny living things which we cannot see with our naked eyes these tiny living organisms can be seen only under microscope microorganisms grow very fast in hot and humid environment like summers and rainy season and this is why the food gets spoiled faster in summers and rainy seasons but not in cool temperatures like in winters again try to understand microorganisms grow very fast in hot and humid environment like summers and rainy season but not in cool temperatures like in winters microorganisms bacteria fungi like mold and yeast are examples of microorganisms these microorganisms are always present in our atmosphere but we cannot see with our naked eyes these microorganisms they spoil food by growing in it and producing substances that change the color appearance and smell of food these microorganisms grow very fast during summers and rainy seasons due to which food gets spoiled but during winter season as the temperature is low these microorganisms do not grow very fast storing dry food items dry food items like cereals and pulses should be stored in air tight containers we rice and pulses are cleaned and dried in the sun before storing this is the traditional method of storing dry food items points to remember we should not eat spoiled food we should protect food from spoilage we should not waste food microorganisms are microscopic organisms which cannot be seen with naked eyes microorganisms are seen only with the help of microscope bacteria and fungus are examples of microorganisms some are useful and some are harmful harmful microorganisms cause diseases and spoil our food so children remember all these points in part 2 of this chapter we will study about food preservation and carry an experiment to observe the growth of bread malt thank you